Flight of the Concords hired me to do a poster. Now, I have to say that the other people in this series were kind of famous poster designers. And I remember after this poster coming out, people were like, cool. Every other town got these really rad posters and we have this guy doing this piece for this band. Ugh. But you know what? I love this poster and I love it for several reasons. One, Flight of the Concords, one of my favorite bands. They loved this poster. Why? Because it spoke to a part of their show which nobody else ever wanted to address. What part of the show was this? This was Alby the racist fucking dragon, all right? No one likes Alby the racist dragon. Until at the end, while sitting on a pile of jelly bean tears, he cries a multicolored jelly bean and realizes he's no longer racist. A story for us all, really. Now, the fun part of this is that most people did not get the reference. It was from the show, not from the albums. And even then on the show, very small part of it. So for years, I would sell versions of this poster, art print versions, and people would buy, go, oh, it's a cute little dragon. And they would buy it, and they'd send me pictures of it hanging up in their nursery of their newborn baby. But little did they know that it was Albie, the racist dragon, watching over their child. So years go by and the band contacts me again and they say, we really love your Albie the Racist Dragon poster. Can we license it for something? And I said, of course, you guys can do whatever you want. You're fabulous. And they go, okay. And they tell me that they are licensing this for tea cozies, which really is the most punk rock thing you can do. I'm just really happy to know that at Nana's tea party, they're rocking Albie the Racist Dragon. <laughs>